Constitution arriving. This is where it all started. And it wasn't keeping the sea free just for ourselves, but for, for everyone. It was for keeping the seas free for everybody in the world, not just one nation. On August 19th, we will set sail and we will have the chiefs actually setting the sails and we will let go of a tug because we normally pull them to tug power. We will sail under our own power for the first time since 1997. Well, a message came out for CTO selectees to come to the USS Constitution for a Heritage Week. I came out to come on this historic ship. It's just an unbelievable sight. It's, um, you know, 200 years ago today to think that the same ship is out there. She holds the main council all the way on your sheets. Burn your clothes. Turn your butt. Each gun team would have been comprised of 9 to 14 men and boys who would have operated by handing lines on either side of the gun, pulling the gun in, uh, loading everything through the muzzle. The load process would have been a cartridge of 8 pounds of gunpowder, a wad made of a t-shirt, shirt, uh, rag, um, any kind of thing that they would have had to hold in the gases. Our well-trained gun crew would have been done within 90 seconds. I would say that those guys back, back then, they, they were pretty tough. It's pretty humbling, to say the least, to see what they went through and what they were able to do given their conditions, taking on the largest, more powerful Navy in the world at that time, and having your limited supplies and resources and coming together and seeing what's making it happen. So I said, that's some true grit. The newspaper in 1815 said, she has become a nation's ship. That's why we keep her, because she's a nation's ship. Not because she won three battles, many men, because she became a symbol that inspired Americans to be Americans instead of state organs. To see it out in the water, it's just breathtaking. It's just breathtaking. You learn it in school, you read about it in school. It's history. It's 200 years worth of history. And it's here, and it's here.